I need you to tell me that I can do this. Of course you can. If I hadn't believed in you, I wouldn't even be here. Gentlemen, ladies, they are Russian. They are 16 years old. They have led until this day a life of slavery, exploitation, and humiliation. They are what we in the medical profession call Amphilopagus twins, joined by a band of cartilage and soft tissue in their midsection. Through extensive examination, I have concluded that the only organ they share is the liver. It is our intention today to separate the girls, leaving each of them enough of the liver so that it can regenerate over time and continue normal function. This is their last day as a sideshow attraction, and you their last audience. This is no magic trick, no illusion, no sleight of hand. It is scientific knowledge and rigorous experimentation that will finally allow these two young ladies to live the humane life of which fate has so far robbed them. You ready? Selkin's surgical knife. In opening up the girls, we discovered a delicate prolongation of liver substance in the connecting band. At this point, the liver is fully exposed and Dr. Gallinger is placing a clamp on the hepatoduodenal ligament, which greatly decreases the bleeding. Once the liver was bisected, each team began the delicate task of suturing. It's difficult to see in this motion film, but I devised a new type of suture based on my research and work with sailing knots. This new suture, which I named the Gallinger knot, did an excellent job of joining tissue. Now, Nika, the girl whom Dr. Edwards and I were working on, developed a problem in her peritoneum which we had to address. Her abdominal cavity was thoroughly washed of any escaping fluids to avoid shock, and to help in this, we had to make an opening in the pouch of Douglas. The entire operation took three and a half hours. The girls are resting comfortably. So far, Nika has a slight case of post-operative pneumonia, which we are monitoring. This surgery, gentlemen, proves once again how high we can soar on the wings of science and ingenuity. What is this material? Celluloid. Amazing substance. Thicker pieces can actually be molded into objects. I know one fellow who makes jewelry out of it and fools people into thinking it's real ivory. <laughs> 